One of Aston Martin's greatest marketing assets is the James Bond franchise. He uses these cars throughout his adventures, except he does that in a way that most of us will never ever imagine. And that's because he has a ton of technology at his fingertips. He's got technology, he's got gadgets, he can do anything and everything with his cars, but we owners can't. Even things as simple as CarPlay is unavailable inside of an Aston Martin when it comes off the factory floor. That's not just true with the older generation of those cars, but even the brand new DBS Superleggera doesn't have CarPlay as an option, despite being based on Mercedes technology and electronics. The only way that you can get CarPlay or Android Auto in your Aston Martin is through a group of guys called Aston Installations out in Tewkesbury, UK. I'm here right now in their shop and they're gonna show us what they can do. With me now is James Hawks Reed from Aston Installations. We're sitting inside a 2006 DB9 Volante. This car has a Lin based audio system. This comes up somewhat regularly when people are wondering about infotainment upgrades. The bottom line with the infotainment system is the audio system doesn't really matter. Whether you have a standard or premium audio system in a V8 Vantage, which is based on Alpine, or you have a DB9 with a LIN system, it's all the same as far as this stuff is concerned. There are some changes to the way certain things are installed depending on what car you have, and we'll go into that in a later video, but as far as the overall demonstration we're gonna give and the products in general, it's all the same to these guys. So James is gonna uh, take us through the startup procedure for connecting to CarPlay. Ignition on. <laughs> Ignition on. Navigation comes up. And that's the factory navigation system there. So this still works? It's totally this functional? This still works. The factory system uh, is still intact. Uh, we keep the fabric of the car the same and we just overlay on there with our CarPlay system. Okay. To select it, hidden buttons in the ashtray. That now selects CarPlay. And plug your phone in. That'll now connect, given a few seconds. Apps come up with that. With how quickly that just connected, is that pretty typical for all the cars that you do installations on? Yes, it is, yes. And is that based on the components that you're using for your installation of CarPlay? Yes, we do, yeah. And do you make that yourself? Is that a custom product that you guys have? It's a custom product we've helped design uh, so it works uh, as integrated as possible with Aston Martin. Awesome. Now that we've connected the car and the phone and we've got CarPlay running, we're gonna go through some of the capabilities that you now have with your CarPlay system in your Aston Martin. First up, obviously, let's go to some music. Sure. The control in here, as you see, will highlight the apps across the screen. So keep turning the control, and eventually you can see we've got all the apps shown there from radio. Uh, Spotify will pick off. Once you get to the one you want, you simply push the knob in, that then shows you your listing, and you can either pick off from the playlist, or you go to your own library. Uh, so we'll pick off one from Daily Mix. Uh, and then in here, we've got an audio selector switch. So at the moment, we can listen to the radio. Uh, with the selector switch there, we can then pick off CarPlay information instead. And there's the music coming through from, from there. And then the controls on here as well, we've got a fast forward, and oh, we've also got a rewind, and a home button. So we can leave the music running, go back to the main menu, and we can then go into, for instance, Waze as a navigation system, and I can resume the drive home while the music's still playing in the background. Next up, we're going to look at cameras. Not all Aston Martins have front or rear cameras. In fact, the earliest ones didn't have any cameras. On my 2007 V8 Vantage, these guys installed front and rear cameras and I use them every single day. They save my front end and everybody else that has them, it saves your front end from hitting curbs, which is very easy to do with how low the car is and how you can't see the front. This camera that I have sitting behind my head is a very good example of the view it's showing because there's no way to see the front of the car, especially in a DB9, which has a really long hood up front. So let's look at cameras. We're in CarPlay right now. How do we access the cameras? 
The button we use to access CarPlay from the existing navigation. Let's go back to there again, push the button again, and that then brings up the front camera. Now that's only one view of the front camera. We've also got a, a secondary button in here whereby we can push the button through and it will cycle around four different images. Uh, we've got a standard view there. That's looking straight down at the floor as if you're lying on the bonnet. Sorry, hood. <laughs> that's looking left and right, so useful if you're coming out of uh, tight junctions. And then press it again and it gives you a wide angle view, like a fisheye lens almost. And then you push it again and it'll cycle around all the different images you've got. Okay, and how do we see the rear view camera? Rear view camera, I'll need to start the car for that one. So now by selection reverse, that'll show the rear view camera. Alright, back in the park, and we can cycle into the front. And then you can toggle between the two. So there you have it. It's a bunch of stuff that comes together to make a wonderful car that much more livable, usable, and enjoyable for owners. If you have any interest in any of these products, please reach out rich at redpants.lol or to Aston Installations directly through their website and contact page. See you soon.